Hi, my name is Angelo Lambropoulos, Director of Lambros Realty. Thank you for tuning in uh, Real Estate at 8, our live Facebook broadcast this morning, where we'll be talking about uh, the best time to buy for new transport links. A uh, question I'm commonly asked, so I hope it can help a few of you out there as well. So I'd like to apologise in advance if there's any um, technical technical difficulties with the uh, the broadcast. I know that in the past few weeks, the um, obviously the TV, the it's been going static in and out. So hopefully it doesn't happen today. Um, Unfortunately, I've got a sneaky suspicion it may do. So, from what I understand, the, the audio isn't compromised. That's the the primary focus, I guess, to get the content out there. Um, I guess if the broadcast does go weak, at least you don't have to see my mug. So, all right. So, look, basically, new infrastructure, especially transport services, can supercharge real estate markets. And research indicates that price rises can occur at different stages in the evolution of a new road or rail link. So when is the best time to buy? Okay. So the optimum time to buy is when there is certainty the project will go ahead. Another good time to act is when the project is well advanced and close to completion. Although those who buy earlier will make greater capital gains. Research indicates that development of a new motorway or train service can produce price growth at different phases, phases of the project time, timeline. So, I guess essentially the, the three keys are when the project is first announced, when the project, project is approved and ready to start construction, and three, when the project is close to completion. Um, obviously, uh, of those time frames, the most riskiest is when it is first announced. Many major transport infrastructure projects have been announced, often during an election campaign, only to be shelved or deferred till later, and, and if at all. So, should you buy after the initial announcement, you will make the most gains, if the project goes ahead, however, but may lose money if it does not proceed. Put simply, you don't want to buy on the basis of a political promise that something will be built. We, we know how that often turns out. So, the best and safest time to buy is when there is greater certainty. When the project has been gazetted for approval or when construction actually starts. To get the best balance between risk and reward, buy as soon as you know a project is definitely going ahead. The other time to buy is when the project is close to completion. Soon after that, commuters will be able to experience the benefits of the newly completed motorway or rail line, and that is when most people will show interest in buying in the locations that benefit from the new services. For instance, when the M2 motorway was completed in 1997, house prices jumped around 30% in the Borkham Hills area of Sydney. More recently, the inner western suburbs rail link of Dolwich Hill has created a rapid rise in prices. The opening of the Westlink M7 in 2005 created a significant upturn in interest in commercial industrial real estate near the intersection of the M2 and the M7. The creation of major job nodes in this precinct has increased the popularity of the Blacktown city area, where residential land values have risen 47% in 2015, according to the New South Wales Value in General. So, you also do need to be mindful of the downside, however. Traffic congestion and noise can make homes too close to the motorway or rail link line unattractive. Generally speaking, and more often than not, there are many benefits. Construction of new transport infrastructure generates economic, economic activity and jobs, while other completion uh, sorry, while after completion, it not only improves access and reduces travel times. But can, I, but can also be the catalyst for new economic hubs. Okay, so I hope that's that's helped you guys there. This short, you know, short five minute talk. Does anyone have any questions while we're live on air? Um, if obviously if you have any questions that come to mind afterwards, you're more than welcome to email me on info at lambrosrealty.com.au, and I'll endeavour to answer you as soon as possible. 
Um, next week we will be talking about the five features that buyers will, sorry not next week, in a fortnight's time which will be Wednesday the 13th of July, um, same time, 8 o'clock, we'll be talking about the five features that buyers will pay extra for. So I hope you can tune in and watch that. Um, I thank you all for watching this morning and uh, I'll see you in a fortnight's time.